hey hello everyone welcome back again in today's video we are going to discuss about two more important routines that has been used in that pricing procedure i will provide you the link for that previous video in description as well as i will try to share the playlist link for pricing please go through that now let's get started so vivo fm is the standard transaction code used to access all kind of routines in the system as we discussed in the previous session in order to access the requirement routines first click on the requirements menu then click on that relevant areas or module wise the routines similar way if we would like to develop any routines related to condition base value or condition value these two we need to select if you see in the pricing procedure we have two columns are there this is alternative calculation type nothing but condition value and this is alternative condition base value now let's look at that alternative condition value so here we have so many routines are available uh, let's look at the important routines that we use frequently if i double click on this requirement routine uh, sorry uh, alternative calculation routine 2 you see here this is to assign the net value of the komp to xkwert before this let me tell you few things important things in pricing and pricing we will be using so many communication structures are there but two important of them are kvo mk header communication surprising header communication structure and uh, kvo mp is for item communication structure similar way we are using so many tables are there for example tko mk header communication structure tko mp item communication structures because in an order or invoice we might have more than one items that means we have many entries in tko mp table and we have important table is there that is xko mv it is same structure and as well as internal table so whatever the data that we see in xko mv finally that will be only updated into standard database table that is ko nv in s4 hana it is prcd elements in s4 hana ko nv table has been obsolete this table only primarily used because ko nv is very tiring and it's very slow table in ecc system because uh, in ko nv table only all the pricing relevant of all the modules will be updated here and that to ko nv is a cluster table if i see show you that you see cluster table cluster table means it is the combination of multiple several tables for example there are 10 tables are there 
this uh, table will hold the ten tables data together. It's a cluster table. Because of the reason, this KVNV table always will be very slow in ECC system. That's why SAP decided to replace this table with transparent table. Transparent table will be very effective and it will be very faster to access the tables. KVNV replaced by PRCD underscore elements table. And uh, we should remember important functional models relevant to pricing. The first one is pricing only. Second one is pricing underscore complete. Third one is pricing underscore copy. So these three are very important. Whenever we get any issues related to pricing, we can apply a breakpoint on any of these uh, three FMs then we can debug and understand. So this pricing will be triggered immediately when we click on material and quantity and enter. This fun function model will be triggered. Coming to pricing complete, this will be triggered when we save the transaction. The transaction in the sense here it may be in order or invoice. So whenever we click on save, then only this pricing complete FM will be triggered. Coming to pricing underscore copy, this function model most of the times will be triggered whenever we try to create any transaction with reference to any other transaction. For example, if we are trying to create one credit memo request with reference to F2 invoice, then we might see this FM getting triggered. Right, so we should aware of this. Yeah, so now, now let's go get, get to this uh, requirement, sorry, uh, alternative condition value determination. In pricing, we have three important fields are there in the pricing. That is K, B, E, T, R, K, W, E, R, T, K, A, W, R, T. This condition amount, if you open any order or invoice, and under the conditions tab, you see this information for each and every condition type or descriptions. This condition amount and it is condition value. So alternative calculation condition value routine used for this purpose only, KWR determination only. For KWRT, it is condition base value. For this, we are using alternative condition base value protein. So we should understand the connectivity between these fields with that routine scene pricing procedure. Yeah, it's for KWERT, that is for alternative calculation condition value and KWERT is used for alternative condition base value. For example, the, base, the price of one material is 10 euros per one each. Okay. And in this case, KB ETR will become 10. Okay. KAWRT will become KWRT is nothing but a condition base value, right? So 10 euros per 1 HS. For example, material 1 has been ordered with 10 quantity. Then it's a one niche, right? So in this case, KWRT will become 10 only, and KWERT will be KBETR multiplied by KAWRT. KAWRT. 
equal to 10 into 10. That is 100 euros. So these are the these are the three parameters which will be calculated in the system. Okay. And one more thing, one more important thing that we should remember is that so whenever any routines assigned in the pricing procedure under the column alternative calculation type, that means the routine is assigned for the condition type, the condition value will be determined based on this formula only, this routine only. Even though if we maintain any condition records for the condition type, still that will be ignored. This routine determined condition value has the more priority than the condition records value. Right. If you maintain or if it doesn't maintain, the condition value simply determined by the alternative calculation type routine only. And basically, or ideally, it's not required to maintain any condition records for the condition type where we have maintained alternative calculation type routines. Okay. Now let's see that uh, routine number 16 here. So they, are, they have written some formula here to calculate the condition value KWERT. Remember that in that pricing programs, we see everything as XKWRT or KWRT, something else. But the standard tables KONV, everything will contain the KWRT. XKWRT equal to KWRT. Simple. Okay. It's a KWRT. KWRT is that condition base value. So in this case, they are multiplying KWRT value with TWG01 or REINH. And recommended in 14 is base price. So they are doing some, some logic validation here saying that the KWERT is greater than net value. Then they are updating KINAC as X. Pa parallelly, they are updating condition value as 0. Right. Similar way, the alternative condition base value determination. Right, so it's nothing but a base. Base means the from. So this value should be calculated from there. We need the source, the base, right? The standard base is from column only for this base type. Right, so in this case, we are determining the the customized logic to get the condition base value. You see here, so we are trying to calculate this value here in this alternative base type formulas. So instead of this uh, standard 10, we are simply using some formula to determine the KAWRT and multiplying that value with KBETR condition amount. Hope you guys are now clear with these uh, three routines. So most of the times we rarely use that uh, custom developed routines. It's, it's completely depends on, depend on that client requirement only. But requirement routines will be using frequently for each new condition types. But uh, calculation type and base type uh, formulas will rarely use it. Okay, hope I made it clear. Uh, in upcoming session, I will try to publish some uh, videos on client requirements on SCPSD pricing. Please, please do subscribe to my channel SCPSD and ABAP Leak Support. That will give, that will motivate me to publish more videos in a better way. Thank you so much.